But uh, I don't know, sometimes guys are just strong. So I can't do it. A lot of times I'll just be able to even, someone said, do you step up? This is the only time that I will step up and I kind of yank this to my chest, kind of keep this tight. Uh, but more often than not, this I just go for a bow and arrow. So I'll kind of show you guys how I do that. The knee that was going on the elbow is going to block his hip. Okay, and I'm, I'm just kind of going to block that. I can't. A lot of people reach back right here and try to just grab it with their hand. Right? If I try to do that, he's doing exactly what he would do. Right? Keeping his leg straight. And you're trying. You're back here you're trying to rip it. His leg is way stronger than that. So you got to use some leverage to do that. Use your knee. I'm going to think of it like a pivot point, and I'm going to bend his leg out with my leg. Bend it outwards. His leg is really, your leg is really strong this way, right? It's not so strong that way when you start taking it out. So that's kind of why I do that. I use my legs, bend it out, and then I come back, grab it like a football. All right, I want my uh, like elbow, I guess bend up my elbow, right on the shoelaces kind of where I want to be. My hand just kind of reaches around and grabs his heel. I don't have, when I get this secure, I don't want to have any space to do that. I put his calf right up the middle of my butt. Sounds weird, but put his calf like right in line with your butt crack, okay? Sounds weird to say, but that's like what I aim for when I'm thinking about it. You'll get the right pressure, and I'll show you why. In folk style, um, even in college, refs will stop and if I start doing this, start bowing his back and stepping up high. And it's not as tight anyway. So when I do my bow, I sit my butt back. So notice how there's no pressure, there's no space between here of my, my uh, I guess, shoulder and here my butt. My butt stays glued and I push back and bring this down at the same time. His face should look painful right now, right? Does it? Does it pain? Cool. I'm not doing it that hard. So right here, I want to keep this tight. This motion without a partner, I'll do it one time, looks like this. So my butt going backwards into his calf at the same time of me bringing his, his foot down puts a lot of pressure right on his, his uh, ankle and a lot of pressure on his knee rather than like on his back. And that should make him want to turn. So I get to here, no space, push my butt back, bring that down. Right? It's like I'm running down the field right, with a football. Now my knee just kind of shoots up toward his ear. I start shooting it up toward his ear, and I take this leg with me. Right? I try not to let any space happen right there. I just kind of cross face him right here with this free hand right to his back. Get, if you guys want to get the pin, all right, I'll plant his foot on the mat. It doesn't look too technical. Usually it's kind of messy, but it works. I'll pin his foot down, and I'll just kind of get my leg out like so. And then uh, I want to think, his foot is like a telephone, right? And his mom's calling, so I kind of just like, dude, your mom's calling, right? <laughs> so, try to kind of 